flying all the way from Koholand Island, Marin is here at last, and she's willing and ready to fight. Wielding a giant bell, a beautiful singing voice, and the mighty Windfish as her guardian, Marin is surprisingly capable on the battlefield. Her ringing shockwaves of water and air do a fantastic job of hitting enemies close and far, and Marin's varied move pool make her a great water element attacker for almost any situation. Marin's full standard combo consists of seven attacks, most of which shoot out spheres of erupting water which can hit from close and mid-range. She swings her bell left, right, down to the left, down to the right, does a spin to the left, a spin to the right, then rings her bell upwards and shoots out three water spheres which pop forcefully. Five of these attacks, meaning everything but the spins, shoot out these water balls in a very similar manner to the first two attacks in Medley's chain. This effect increases her reach beyond the bell. However, the downside is that the bell itself doesn't get swung very far. You're going to need to be careful when trying to hit enemies that are not in the way of these bubbles, as Marin can often miss foes that are just off to her sides. Ideally, you want to use this combo from a little bit back, unless you intend to go into one of Marin's combos. Speaking of her combos, Marin is packing a lot more than just a few bubbles in this set. Her first combo was a standard hit upwards as Marin splashes her foe. But even though she does a little hop, Marin doesn't actually have any aerial moves. Next, her second combo consists of smashing her bell down to the left, right, and then left again, as its shockwaves smash any foes in the way. This attack is fast and damaging, and is also your best option when trying to break down boss weak points. Marin's third combo is a wild circular spin, which moves in a similar pattern to Toon League's spinning attack, but doesn't leave her dizzy afterwards. Her fourth combo consists of Marin jumping into the air and forcing a huge rush of water onto her foes. This is very focused for a late string combo, but naturally it does very good damage, as well as activating the water element status ailment. Then her fifth and final combo is really something. With a few rings of her bell, the windfish himself swoops in from above, crashing any enemies in his way as he flies off again. This hits a very long distance forward of Marin, and knocks any enemies who survive far back. While Marin truly has a great assortment of combos, she still has a few more mechanics worth noting. First of all, whenever you hit an enemy with any attack, Marin's charge bar will begin to fill. How full it is has a connection to Marin's heavy attack. With no charge at all, Marin rings her bell and sends out only one weak sound shockwave. With some amount full, Marin is able to send out three of these shockwaves which do decent damage. However, with a full bar, Marin sends out five at once, which explode and can do truly massive damage to anything they hit, sometimes bringing generals to near death in just one shot of this. Also, Marin's force special, where she summons in the windfish again for a heavy belly flop, should be aimed just slightly in front of Marin. Its circle of damage only stems from where the windfish lands, so make sure to keep that in mind when trying to aim this. While Marin carries a laundry list of great attacks, most of them are best used with a little bit of range. With proper spacing, Marin has just about anything you could need, and to me, she is clearly the best water element character in the game.